Welcome back everybody and happy Monday from an obviously rainy New York City. That's right, it's a little bit cold out and I still have a little bit of a cold, but I'm actually feeling pretty good today. And you're probably wondering why, right? And it's because it's a Monday. Not really, but it's because Chelsea, they dominated Newcastle this weekend. And I actually got some, week, some rest this weekend as well. Kind of rare. And come on, we all know why I'm really happy, right? It's after 4 o'clock, the market's there, officially closed. I'm back here in Brooklyn. Have yourself a drink. That's right, prepare yourself for happy hour in the Big Apple. Now it's a Monday afternoon and stocks, they reversed course from the early morning to trade in the red. As worries about the continuing fall in oil prices continue to overshadow corporate deal enthusiasm. That's right, enthusiasm. Now a lack of economic data and investors awaiting earnings from Alcoa helped pave the way for investors to turn focus elsewhere. For the most part, that focus was all on corporations. First off, oil field services provider Schlumberger declining after Goldman Sachs downgraded shares to neutral from buy. NPS Pharmaceutical surging after Shire said it would pay about $5.2 billion to purchase the developer of medicines to treat rare disease. And Roche Holdings said it would pay more than $1 billion for a majority stake in genomic test maker Foundation Machine. A foundation medicine, that is. Now, you team that with another session of plummeting oil prices, trading below $46 a barrel, the lowest level since April 2009, and gold rising 1% on oil concerns, and the U.S. dollar rising against its counterparts on oil concerns. Now, you have yourself a session with all that combined, where for every share rising, more than two fell over at the New York Stock Exchange. So let's now take a look to see how the markets have shaped up to close out this, the first trading, trading day of the new week. And again on the corporate front, Bristol Myers Squibb jumping after the drug developer reported upbeat results on a potential treatment for a common form of lung cancer. And Lululemon Athletica, the maker of those yoga pants that some people look good in, some people can. I don't even know what I can say at this point. Yoga pants hiked its outlook for the fourth quarter revenue and profit. So therefore shares were higher. And Tiffany tumbling today after the upscale jeweler cut its full year earnings outlook. So there you have it, guys. Make sure you go to Tiffany. That's if the prices go down. Cheaper gift for Valentine's Day. I think, I hope. And with that stated, grab yourself a drink. Sit back, relax, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. From ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Sweeney.